la vadina mėlė tinklalai dės laikas muzikai žiūrovai. Tamsėjant ir gilėjant vakarams, lakričio 23 dieną, čia Lietuvos nacionalinės filharmonijos didžioje salėje mes sutiksime tikrą prancūziškos muzikos lobyną ir gal tie tamsus vakarai iš tiesų kiekvienam iš mūsų prašvėsės. Na, o to proga sveikinsiuosi ir kalbėsiu su prancūzų dirigentu, jau nekartą matytų čia didžiosios filharmonijos salės scenoje Viktorija Vanosten, su kurioj būtent ir pakalbėsime apie šios programos pasirinkimą. My pleasure to have you here and speak with you. And the first question, it will be the most boring, I think, so it's about your beginning in the music. And I read that uh, your family, they are not musicians, and it was uh, a choose from soccer and music. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why music? Because, I mean, sometimes boys uh, find that music is very boring. <laughs> yeah, it's really, you know, I didn't know anything about it, but uh, they proposed to me to play piano. Yeah, my parents like music, but doesn't know at all this word. And yeah. that was uh, totally new for me. And yeah, I was just, just enough talented to continue work a bit, practice and uh, continue when I was a kid. But when I was a teenager, now I was, uh, you know, when I go back to school, I was like uh, three hours, four hours, at 11 years old, 12 years old already on my piano. Mm -hmm. So it was like a begin to be a patient or something yes. really, yeah, I was, you know, you discover the repertoire, you discover the composers and then you're all like, wow. So yeah, I, I mean, I was totally normal, little boy and after I began really really passionate about that and also I read that you were interested or good in mathematics <laughs> and did it help for for music and still now is it helping yeah yeah really even at 18 years old when I have to choose I wanted to do like a, some yeah some scientist uh, mm -hmm. job or music, but music will miss me a lot. So I choose music, of course, but mathematics is really important because the music is based on the rhythm exactly. and on the, the, the question of mathematics yes. or arithmetic yes. or something. So yeah, it's very important to understand the big structure like an architect mm -hmm. because all these wonderful musicians on, on stage uh, playing in our orchestra knows every, everything about the music and the part, etc. What they need, I think, it's how we go in this way along the, the big all the piece. picture. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the picture. And that's, I think, is a big role of the conductor. You are a very busy conductor. I mean, you're a very busy musician. One day you are in Lithuania, another day you are in Berlin, another in, in another country. Do you have still time to play with piano? <laughs> Barenboim told me, you have to play piano, you have to practice, you have to continue. Because the first time I met him was to play and, uh, in mm -hmm. front of him. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and uh, I said, Maestro, I don't have time any anymore. And he said, I don't have time. You. <laughs> so it was very funny. And, you know, of course I conduct a lot, but uh, I miss just a bit, but I miss the physicality of the sound. Mm -hmm. You know, I never touch, to touch. something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with a uh, big orchestra like here and a special relation, I can feel more really the relation between my body mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. sound because we know each other better and better and better. That's really important. But the piano, you know, so I begin to, 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 to control the orchestra. Mm -hmm. That's a bad word, but the control like yes. a piano now. But why was this change between piano and conducting? Because, I mean, you started as a musician, as piano player, mm. and why then you decided to, to conduct? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have enough fingers <laughs> to play all the repertoire. Mm -hmm. You know, I was so passionate about opera, about symphonic works, mm -hmm. and my first disc was a transcription from, mm -hmm. uh, from things because I, and I played a lot with singers, etc. but it was not enough. Mm -hmm. And also the, 
you know, the, the orchestra, I think, is the most beautiful things in the world. The sound you can have, it's so different, it, every things, etc. You know, people do not know uh, classical music and classical orchestra. Sometimes there are fear, oh, uh, we don't For know sure. that, uh, it's boring or something. And sure. if they know, the, the difference between a lot of composers, a lot of steel, a lot of centuries, etc. It's so amazing. So, yeah, I, I was in my piano and I, I had a lot of pleasure and I continue to play, etc. But the orchestra, the, the big thing and mostly the relation with people also. I mm -hmm. was so alone because I was a soloist. I, I was not in an orchestra course, or something. I was so alone. So as a conductor, you're still alone. Uh, except in Vilnius, because people are so, <laughs> so, so amazing. I think so. It's, I can say it's the fashion now of young conductors. How do you think what in this generation, what is very important to have a good international career of conducting? I think it's a tendency, not only on the music. Mm. Uh, we, we really love the youngness and something every, everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. Very younger CEO of the, you know, <laughs> yes. that's fashion level, I think. Uh, it doesn't mean, uh, for, uh, for instance, Klaus Michele is a totally genius because he, yeah, it's like uh, 20, 20 more years. He's yeah, very, but, very. Uh, not everyone can be genius, I mean, on that of year. Of course, and even the genius, I have, no, I don't have a problem with this word, but you know, I don't think that talent exists really. The, the work it's exists. Work. And about the programs, uh, on 23rd of November, it will be absolutely uh, French music. And you, your meaning and your thought of this program was because you're a French conductor and you want to bring this French music taste for Lithuanians? There is many answers uh, for that. Uh, if I go in order, of course, there is something between France and Lithuania. Uh, and when I came for the first time before the COVID, was also a special season French here. Yes. And so I replaced Michel Plasson to, to do the chausson and with Musa we did the Saint-Saëns Concerto, etc. So it was a really uh, deep uh, connection. Mm -hmm. And it's still the same because it's a Lithuanian season in France also, so it's a, like a small uh, call and uh, something. <laughs> yes. Also, yeah, I am, a, I am a French conductor, so I think I, I, I should also bring the French repertoire here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the, the orchestra love that. I love my repertoire is like Strauss, Bruckner, Mahler, what we do mm -hmm. now. It's my really, I have a feeling with this music, but of course, naturally, Debussy is like my favorite. I played everything in piano, Ravel also. Yeah, I hope I can do Strauss in the same professional way and um, the most beautiful way we can as a Debussy. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really important. And for this program, yeah, it was also uh, a meaning uh, the, the night and, uh, and Fouré. Requiem is also the, the night world. So there is something very, very dark, but not in a bad way, but some in an in a atmosphere, dark atmosphere and uh, something yeah, very special. Of course, we, we have to associate death and requiem, of course, but we can also see that, you know, it depends on the culture, it depends on the people, but mm -hmm. the death is not the end of the trouble, I, I hope. <laughs> so it, it, it's just the beginning of something else and mm -hmm. it depends mm -hmm. on the culture, but it's just another world. We, we, so the Requiem is, could be also something not so sad, but uh, continuation? continuation and entrance in another mm -hmm. world. And, uh, you know, of course we are sad, but uh, yeah, those people are, are not sad. Yeah, could, could be also a positive message and uh, not positive, but uh, poetic mm -hmm. things. And uh, cello player Xavier Philippe, mm -hmm. tell me us about, about this musician more. You know, I know a lot of uh, cello player and I love, if I can, I love to choose uh, a special player for a special piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I always try to choose the people I think will be the best for the repertoire or for the... Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a lot of concerto and uh, etc. And I, I hope so sometimes I'm wrong like that. I discover <laughs> people for the for things etc. But yeah, Xavier Phillips uh, record a lot of things and especially this kind of uh, 
of music in the 20th centuries, etc. I think he is quite close of this style and this uh, this period. What is your dream concert or dream piece to play with with this Lithuanian National Orchestra? <laughs> Of course, you know I will not answer that <laughs> because if I do, <laughs> after what I can after do. that you will have another dream. <laughs> but I think it's exactly the answer. Actually, it was a dream to do hand and Leben with them, and we did a concert so fantastic uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, of course, to do this uh, fifth of Mahler, it's so uh, Everest mountain. <laughs> yeah, it's a big thing, and they know by heart almost. So. It's wonderful to work with that. So my dream is to continue to explore this repertoire, but there is so much what I can say. Uh, there is a lot of pieces I want to do. And also there is a, a lot of pieces I want to do again. So I just want to thank you. Thank you to, to you. To say thank you, and it was really interesting. Actually, I could say I could sit here even longer, <laughs> but I know that you will go to, to learn Mahler and you have not so much time. And uh, the name of our Philharmony and orchestra, I can say that this is a pleasure to have you here and mm -hmm. to enjoy your interpretation, your energy, your passion for the music, what is seeable from your eyes and from <laughs> your body, especially when you are on the stage. So really thank you and, and I hope uh, that you will stay with us quite for quite long. Yeah, I hope also. <laughs> we will lock you here. <laughs> yeah, I am so happy to be here. It's always a joy. So, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, with the orchestra, I have so good relations. So, thank you for your compliment. And uh, I, I feel so good here. Yeah, I think we begin a, a very great and long story. Kaip ir maestro sakė, rekviem nebūtinai yra pabaiga, o galbūt kažko pradžia ir durų atvėrimas. Taigi, mylėjai, kviečiu jūs lapkričio 23 dieną ateiti čia į Filharmonijos didžiąją salę ir išgirsti prancūziškos muzikos šedevrus, kuriuos atliks ne tik prancūzų violončelininkas Xavier Filip, bet taip pat ir mūsų atlikėjai, tai yra baritonas Tepano Zonys, sopranas Lina Dambrauskaitė, orgonininkė Renata Marcinkutė. Taigi, susitikime čia ir praturtinkime pastamsius lapkričio vakarus.